In this example, I want to show you how to find logs when the base is not 10 or E. And there's a pretty simple way to do that. So you've probably seen a problem like this before, log base 3 of 81. And this is a nice problem because magically the um, 81 can be expressed as a power of the base, 3 to the 4th, and so the answer is 4, and that's an easy problem. But what if we change that 81 to an 82? then that's not such an easy problem anymore because 82 is not a nice convenient power of 3. So we need to come up with some other way to solve this problem. Well on any math or science calculator you have uh, buttons for log base 10 and log base E. So those are pretty easy but what do we do about uh, non 10 or E bases? Well some calculators are pretty fancy and they allow you to um, calculate a log with any base at all. But it turns out that you really don't need that. So let me show you how that works. Let's take the log base b of x and we'll set that equal to some number a. So that's a pretty generic statement. And what we're going to do is raise each side of that as a power of b. So b to the x is the inverse function of log base b. So when I raise both sides to this, I'm taking an inverse function of its native function on the left, so I just get x back. So x is equal to b to the a. And now I'll take a log that I know, say log base 10, the common log. So I'll take the common log of both sides, so I have log x is equal to the log of b to the a. And then I'll use my laws of logs to write log of x is equal to a log b. And then I can just rearrange that by dividing log b, which is just a number, over to the other side to get a equals log of x over log of b. And that turns out to be a very important formula that we call the change of base formula. So the log with some base b of anything is just a common log of that thing, log of x, over the common log of the old base, and there's nothing special about the common log. We could have used the natural log as well. So those both work. So that's our change of base formula. Just take the log, a log that you know of the original argument, divide by the log of the original base, and you've got it. And we can go back now to that log base 3 of 82 and just write it as the log of 82 over the log of 3 or the natural log of 82 over the natural log of 3 and if we use a calculator, we get something like uh, 4.0112, I think. So we don't really need any fancy programming to calculate logs of other bases. We can just quickly key the change of base formula in using either common logs or natural logs on our calculator.